Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at Conscious Magic from Andrew Gerard and Ran Pink. Uh, what is this new DVD? Uh, basically, it is three new mentalism effects brought to you by two of the brightest minds in mentalism. I can't wait to get into this review. Let's watch the trailer. Welcome to Conscious Magic. This is like a double feature. I'm Ron Pink. And I'm Andrew Gerard, and thanks for joining us. Uh, every episode in the series, we're going to be sharing with you two effects, one of mine, one of Rand's, and these effects are uh, not only really powerful, but they're meant more for casual environment performing. So you're at bars, nightclubs, house parties, friends after dinner, uh, and you'll see us perform in all of those kinds of environments as well. And not only are we going to teach the effects, we're going to deconstruct the effects and you're going to learn how we got there. And hopefully that will teach you how to do that for yourself and how to find effects that fit you and your personality the best and how to get there even if it takes a little bit of time. So we're hoping that uh, deconstructing these and kind of giving you guys some insights as to the whys and uh, the hows uh, will inspire you to kind of pull apart I guess, some of your own magic and mentalism routines and make them better. So without further ado, uh, let's roll the footage. All right. Roll it. Enjoy. Nothing's happening. And someone's got to turn on the footage. Ever since Paul Curry released Out of This World, there have been many variations. But my favorite's gotta be Andrew Gerard's Real World. He uses an ungimmicked regular pack of cards, the spectator deals into two piles, and there are no moves, no sleight of hand. But what's really great about this is that the method takes place in the spectator's mind. And the premise itself involves the law of attraction, which is something I can relate to, and I know a lot of people will relate to this idea. So, welcome to the real world. So we know magic's amazing. You can create these visual moments with a deck of cards or props that leave the spectator in wow saying, you know, how did he do that? When it comes to mind reading though, they know how you did it. And that's what's amazing. They believe you're psychic, you're getting inside their head. Of course, we know that doesn't exist. But if it did, it would look like Rand Pink's T-Rex. This is the most amazing method, diabolical in nature. It's time-tested and true. In my opinion, is the best way to get inside somebody's mind and reveal exactly what they're thinking. So there's lots of ways to get inside somebody's head. What's the best way? Well, it's the way that you actually, the one, the method you actually use, right? And this is the one that I use, and I know you're going to as well. Let's check out T-Rex. Let's go read some minds. I want you to focus on one person. Think of one person from all the people that you know. You just try to send out thoughts to me, look you right in the eye. Emily. <laughs> no way! Oh my god! What? Are you serious? No. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. How did you do that? How did you do that? What the f <laughs> Hell no. Out of any name you could pick, fuck you do that. And that's crazy. That's my girl. That's my wife. Uh, that's nuts, huh? Me. What's your name? So in your life, yeah. so far, how many people do you think you've met? I don't know. Billion? Um, <laughs> <that's wrong. laughs> no, I like just this. Yeah, yeah. So people. I want you to clear your mind and just think of one. Okay. Send it to me. Send it to me and look me in the eye. <laughs> Repeat it again and again. Emma. No way. No. <laughs> Speechless. What? No. Girl, we with him. 
No, there's no way. Oh man, I gotta go. Your man. finger go is now. doing it. <laughs> Part of the you? <laughs> All you got some do people don't see it, right? No, 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 Pink. A couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, you're going to get the DVD, okay? DVD is 65 minutes long, so a little over an hour, and uh, you're going to get the special gimmick uh, that is needed for one of the three tricks. What's the overall quality and production value of the DVD? Uh, the video has both live and studio performances, so I like that. I like that a lot, especially like to see mentalism live. That's, you know, instead of just talking about it hypothetically, I love seeing performers actually do it with real people in real situations. So kudos to them. Um, all the explanations, uh, they're taught back in the studio uh, in black and white, which I guess is fine. Uh, and then it's back in kind of like a studio apartment setting with a stationary camera. It's got uh, good uh, production value as far as uh, performers being microphones. Uh, there isn't any weird background music. There's no extra bonusy like um, transitions from one scene to the next. So it's really, uh, really straightforward. Really well done. All right. So what's taught on the DVD? Uh, what's taught on the DVD are three effects. Okay. So you're gonna get uh, one trick from uh, Andrew Gerard and one trick from Rand Pink, and then uh, you're getting an extra bonus trick um, that's also from Andrew Gerard. So the first effect is called Real World, okay? And this is Andrew Gerard's uh, version of Out of This World. Uh, Out of This World uh, is Paul Curry, right? And so that's the effect where the deck is shuffled and then the spectator randomly puts cards in one pile or the next and separates them, of course, red in one pile, black in the other, and it's a miracle. Um, so this is his version of that, okay? This is his uh, easy, very quick uh, setup to do. This is actually my favorite version of Out of This World. It's so easy to do, and the spectator does all of the work. The next effect on there is called T-Rex, and this is Ran Pink's um, billet uh, peak. Uh, and so he's gonna walk you through uh, what this looks like. But it's basically, uh, it's basically his center tear. It's his version of the center tear. And it's how he gets a peek just really cleanly and really easily uh, with any spectator. You can do this on the fly with your own business cards. It's, it's a really great thing to learn. And then the bonus trick is called Optica. And this is Andrew Gerard's bill levitation. So he takes two uh, dollar bills and he has the spectator pick any one and he makes one of them levitate. And the great thing I liked about this was Andrew pitches this, he teaches this as an optical illusion. He says, here, watch, you might be able to see it from this angle, it's an optical illusion. So he doesn't actually pitch it as, hey, look, I'm making something float, which I think some magicians do, and it just seems disingenuous because if you could make something float, then you could make anything float at any time. So uh, if you're gonna be true to your character, okay, I liked how Andrew uh, taught this as an optical illusion that works in some settings at, you know, at some angle. So it was a really neat, neat effect. Positives. All right, so what are the positives to conscious magic? Um, you get three solid routines that are sure to stun and wow your audiences. This is mentalism from the finest minds. Is it worth your money? Uh, it's $35. $35, that's roughly $10 a trick uh, for all three. Of course, you're getting the gimmicks as well. So if, I would say if you don't own these effects, they are really good mentalism tricks, really good mentalism effects. But again, $35 for three effects, you're getting the gimmick, so you be the best judge if it's worth your money. Who would like this? I think people that do mentalism, people that are you know fans of Andrew Gerard or Rand Pink, we definitely get a kick out of these. Uh, these are great real world effects. I think they work great for walk around, uh, especially work great for like a restaurant magic uh, setting where you have a table and you're working with maybe a group of people that are at a table. I think that would be great. All right, so that is my review for Conscious Magic from Andrew Gerard and Rand Pink. As always, I wanna thank the people down at Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase this trick for yourself, you can find it from one of your very favorite Murphy's Magic retailers. Thanks, bye.